finishes. Yeah, it's more than just three years in a row of second place finishes. It's decades of not scoring as a team, even yeah. though we had the swimmers to do so. And, yeah. and, and it's just been a lot of, there's been a lot of years and a lot of people put into Everfall High School Swimming that, uh, I mean, it feels good to get the boys, the boys championship for the first time. And I know that that's been something that's been on their mind for the last three years. So uh, they came out and they performed way better than I thought they were going to. I mean, re really no no complaints as far as performance goes. So we're happy to get another swimmer up to state with Porter Lavasse or 100 back. He just barely missed the 53. Yeah, I think everyone had some really great swims. Our divers came out and performed really well, too. So we knew it was going to be close to Chatham. It was going to be close to Fallon, but uh, fortunately we were able to come on. Any, any particular events that kind of stood out for you guys were kind of swam above the expectations and certain ones that maybe brought those extra points you needed? Yeah, I mean, probably the number one that sticks out to me is, is McLean Ertl and his performance at the 200 IM and also the 100 breaststroke. I mean, he was not seated in the top six and he got third in the 100 breast. So he just dropped a ton of time and had a great need. Some absolutely great performances for you today. You've got to be really happy. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely uh, definitely pleased with the season. I mean, straight through girls, we were we were undefeated, and straight through guys undefeated. So, I mean, you can't ask for much more on the season. Um, so we're gonna take some well-deserved rest. I am anyway. Uh, the guys are gonna keep keep swimming for the club team, I'm sure. But uh, we're gonna look at quarter going to state and see what we can do up there. Porter, that was obviously a tough race he was in. Just look at how many times there were that 100 backstroke. Yeah, our, a lot of that. our 100 backstroke is stacked at this sectional, and to send that many people to state is, is impressive, from, especially from this downstate yeah. sectional. So. Yeah, sending five, sending five out of section on the backstroke, that's got to send a message to the Chicago area schools. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think those times can perform. I don't think that they're going to win by any means, but they'll be in the middle of the pack across the board. You know, 50, whatever, I think 51, 1, and then all the way up to a 52 mid. And the cut's a 53, 4, so it's not like they just barely made it. They were well under the cut. But anything else in particular you kind of stay take out of today for the future of this program? Yeah, I mean, just the fact that we're not, I mean, we're losing some seniors, but our, our main point scores are going to be returning next year, and we got some freshmen coming up, so uh, I think the boys' side of our program is, is building, it's coming along, and and it feels great to get the first uh, sectional win of their history. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right.